This week's video, the one you're watching now, will be on YouTube. Next week's video will be on Patreon. Success is 1% inspiration, 49% perspiration, and 50% luck. Now, the perspiration is ours. We get credit for the work. We get credit for 49% of our success. But the inspiration, the breakthrough, the idea, comes from we know not where. And our luck is a gift. Which is to say that luck plays more of a part in our success than we do by 1%. But for some players, luck itself is an art. From Germany. German mayonnaise. This spirited man made me a BLT last week, a BLTA avocado. So this week, I brought him a new toaster and a toaster shelf. His old toaster was broken. This spirited man is Nick Fouquet. And Nick Fouquet is my newest friend. Today he made me lunch again. And he also taught me something about struggle and luck. Okay, so this goes like this. This hook goes here, and then a wire goes from here to here. Right. What I was gonna say is like these laser levels, probably like when I was little, probably cost like two or three thousand dollars each. Really? Probably when we were ten. This device. What was year were you born? Seventy-five. Gotcha. What year? Eighty-three. Oh God, really? I look that. I look so much okay. older. So you want to make like a little hangman, like a perfect little hangman's noose. <laughs> God, it looks beautiful. This is so pretty. Nick makes hats and clothes for some of our greatest artists, athletes, and beauties. And he makes them here in this beautiful place with these wonderful people. And many of us dream of a little kingdom like this, our own little kingdom of something. Maybe it's hats, maybe it's videos. But when I see Nick's successful operation, I see the perspiration, the inventory, the shipping headaches, the materials, the payroll, the equipment, the rent. I want all the credit to go to Nick's perspiration, to his hard work, to his struggle, damn it. Because I romanticize my struggle. My ego wants credit for my success. And my ego wants all of the credit.
That's blocking 101. So when I sat down with Nick to talk in his showroom, I unconsciously began mining and fishing for the perspiration part of his success story. I pressed Nick to tell me about the struggle phase of his success, the perspiration era of his success. I guess I want there to be like a, what's the struggle part of the story? Where was it like white knuckles and f And when I became conscious of my ego's desire for Nick's success to be a result of his perspiration and his grind and his hard work, I stopped listening to my ego and began listening more closely to Nick. And when I listened more closely to Nick, I realized that his success stories weren't about struggle. They were about luck. Lucky to grow up on two continents. Lucky to be loved by artistic, creative sisters. Lucky to meet the cowboy from Utah. Lucky, a decade or so ago, to get the basement workshop for a few hundred bucks a month. Lucky, in the beginning, to have Billy Gibbons commission a hat. Bob Dylan commission a hat. Pharrell commission a hat. Nick didn't tell me he busted his ass. It just like fell on me. Not false modesty. This is how he sees it. And that's one of the reasons we love him. And I say his little kingdom is what he built with his luck through work and luck. So I learned two things from Nick that day. What's the struggle part of the story? Where was it like white knuckles and f I mean, it's always peaks, peaks along the way at every stage of that process, you know, whether it's the beginning or in the middle or, you know, who knows when the end is or when it's near or whatever. But like, there's always like blood, sweat and tears. The first thing I learned is that perspiration, work, struggle isn't a phase. Perspiration is 49% of each point on the process graph. Struggle is a part of the process every time, and so is luck. And the second thing I learned from Nick that day. The struggles are so real and it has a reminder of looking back and being like, dude, enjoy the ride. Like, cause I'm gonna look back in five years and be like, dude, it was such a great time. I don't know why you were tripping out. And I think, I think that's like one lesson that I wanna use as like my mantra moving forward always. It's just like, enjoy the process, enjoy the moment. Like. The second thing I learned that day, the good luck the blessings. <laughs> I mean, that this is, is a, a real finger burner. As good as, as good as it gets. The good luck, the blessings, are to be enjoyed. Wow, look at this. Like friendship. It's good. Perfect. On this week's Patreon-only video... I stole this episode from The New Covetables by Charles Eames, but the idea came from a Patreon patron. These are a few of my favorite things.